we talk about how painful crucifixion is, mm -hmm. and yes, I mean, unbearably difficult thing to go through. But Christ, of course, suffers in other contexts and in other ways there, right? And that has to do with spiritual dimensions. I mean, one passage we haven't read yet, but might sort of orient us there. This is Mosiah 3, 7, and this is an angel's words that are being quoted by King Benjamin in the Book of Mormon. The angel says this of Christ, uh, he shall suffer temptations, pain of body, hunger, thirst, and fatigue, everyday pains, but then adds, even more than man can suffer, except it be unto death, for behold, blood cometh from every poor. So great shall be his anguish for the wickedness and the abominations of his people. Uh, it's sin mm -hmm. that makes this uh, more than anyone can suffer. I wonder if a nice place to sort of capture what that feels like for us, right? Because we face this down in our own indiv individual ways, and this is what Christ takes on, might be to look at Alma 36. This is the same prophet Alma we were talking about a little bit earlier, but now telling the story of his own conversion experience. Mm -hmm. And when he talks about before the conversion experience, right, right he's, he's sort of uh, come to a stark realization of where he's at standing before God because of a remarkable visit of an angel. But as he's uh, working his way toward throwing himself on Christ, he describes his, um, his pains this way. So this is Alma 36, verses 13 and 14. It says, Yea, I did remember all my sins and iniquities, for which I was tormented with the pains of hell. Yea, I saw that I had rebelled against my God, and that I had not kept his holy commandments. Yea, and I had murdered many of his children, or rather, led them away unto destruction. Yea, and in fine, so great had been my iniquities, that the very thought of coming into the presence of my God did rack my soul with inexpressible horror. That's very intense language. Mm -hmm. And part of what's striking about this to me, I think, is that uh, Alma points simultaneously backward and forward in time. I remembered all my sins, and then he's thinking about coming into the presence of God. And it's looking back on his sin and thinking about the future of coming into judgment mm -hmm. that causes him this intense pain. He'll tell the story of how that gets released, right? And how he can look back on his past and forward to Christ and find comfort. But at the beginning, before he's really worked out his relationship to Christ. This is intense.